Today, we're going to talk about something super important, how our approach to agriculture and harvesting food can affect ecosystems. Whether it's planting crops or fishing in the ocean, the way we get our food can have big impacts on the environment. But don't worry, we'll also explore some strategies for keeping ecosystems balanced and healthy while still feeding the world. Let's get started. Agriculture, or growing crops and raising animals, is essential for feeding the planet. But it can have some serious effects on ecosystems if it's not done carefully. Here are a few ways it can disrupt the balance. Monoculture is when farmers grow only one type of crop, like a field full of corn or wheat. While it's great for producing large amounts of food, it can deplete the soil of important nutrients. Since the same crop is grown year after year, the soil loses the diversity of nutrients that other plants would provide. This can lead to poorer soil health, making it harder to grow crops in the future. It also makes the ecosystem more vulnerable to pests and diseases because there's no diversity of plants to keep the system balanced. To protect crops from pests and help them grow faster, many farmers use chemical pesticides and fertilizers. While these chemicals help produce more food, they can also seep into the soil and water, harming other organisms in the ecosystem. Pesticides can kill beneficial insects like bees and butterflies, which are crucial for pollinating plants. Fertilizers can cause algae blooms in nearby rivers and lakes, which use up oxygen in the water and create dead zones where fish and other aquatic life can't survive. Sometimes, large areas of forests are cleared to make room for agriculture. This process, known as deforestation, removes trees that absorb carbon dioxide and provide habitats for countless species. Without the trees, the land becomes more prone to erosion, and the animals that once lived in the forest are forced to find new homes or face extinction. Deforestation can disrupt entire ecosystems and contribute to climate change. Raising animals like cows, sheep, and goats for food can also impact ecosystems. When animals graze on the same land for too long, they can overeat the vegetation, leading to overgrazing. This damages the soil, causes erosion, and makes it harder for plants to grow back. Without enough vegetation, the land can turn into a desert-like area, unable to support much life. Humans also rely on natural environments for food, such as fishing in oceans, lakes, and rivers, or gathering plants from forests. But harvesting food from the wild can also upset the balance if done irresponsibly. Here's how. Overfishing happens when people catch too many fish from a body of water faster than the fish can reproduce. This can lead to a collapse in fish populations, meaning there aren't enough fish left to sustain the ecosystem or the people who rely on them for food. Overfishing can also affect other species that rely on fish for food, like seabirds and marine mammals. Bycatch is when fishing nets accidentally catch species that aren't the target, like sea turtles, dolphins, or sharks. These animals often get injured or die, even though they weren't the ones being fished for. Bycatch disrupts marine ecosystems by harming species that play important roles in the food chain. Harvesting food from forests, like fruits, nuts, or wild animals, can also disrupt ecosystems when done unsustainably. Cutting down large areas of forest to collect resources, removes habitats, affects biodiversity, and can lead to long-term damage to the ecosystem. So, how can we make sure we're getting the food we need without destroying ecosystems? Here are some strategies to help maintain or restore balance. One solution is to use more sustainable farming methods. For example, crop rotation involves growing different types of crops in the same field from year to year. This helps replenish the soil with nutrients and reduces the need for chemical fertilizers. Farmers can also use organic farming techniques, which avoid synthetic pesticides and fertilizers, helping to protect the environment. Agroforestry is a method where trees and crops are grown together. Trees provide shade, improve soil quality, and support biodiversity, all while allowing farmers to grow food. Agroforestry helps maintain ecosystem balance by mimicking natural systems. Instead of relying on chemical pesticides, farmers can use integrated pest management, a method that combines different techniques to control pests. This might include introducing natural predators, like ladybugs, to control aphids, 
or using crop diversity to make pests less likely to spread. This reduces the impact on the environment while still protecting crops. There are also sustainable fishing practices to be considered. To prevent overfishing, governments and organizations have put fishing quotas in place, limiting how many fish can be caught to protect populations. Fishermen can also use more selective fishing gear to reduce bycatch. This ensures that fishing practices don't harm other species and allow fish populations to recover. After deforestation, efforts like reforestation, or planting new trees, and habitat restoration can help rebuild ecosystems. By planting native trees and plants, the soil becomes healthier and wildlife can return. These practices help restore balance and promote biodiversity. When collecting food from forests or other natural environments, people can use sustainable harvesting methods. This might include only taking what's needed, leaving some plants and animals behind to reproduce, and avoiding areas that are already under pressure. Sustainable harvesting protects ecosystems while still providing resources for people. Agriculture and food harvesting are essential for our survival, but if we're not careful, they can throw ecosystems out of balance. The good news is that there are many strategies to ensure we harvest food in ways that protect the environment. By using sustainable farming, fishing, and harvesting practices, we can help maintain ecosystems and make sure they continue to support life for generations to come. That's it for today's lesson. Next time you see a farm or a fishing boat, think about how important it is to keep ecosystems balanced and how we can all play a role in protecting the planet while feeding the world.